Hello, Union family. I'm Charles with American Workers First. Welcome back to Union Facts Friday. Today we're talking about what is OSHA? June is National Safety Month, and one of the most important things labor activists have fought and won for workers' rights is the Occupational Safety and Health Act, better known by the acronym OSHA. Established in 1970, OSHA was a response to decades and decades of dangerous conditions American workers have been put in. Whether it was the exploitation of coal miners, the railroads using children to plant dynamite, farmhands wasting away under the brutal southern sun, or the daily death of factory workers in the north, corporations have been putting profits over people for far too long. By the 50s, the proliferation of unions had improved conditions, but occupational injuries and deaths were still a far too frequent occurrence. OSHA changed that. Workplace injuries in the United States have steadily declined yeah. since its implementation. From 1972 to 2018, non-fatal occupational injuries have dropped from 10.9 cases per 100 full-time workers to just 2.8 cases. Fatalities have also gone from an estimated 14,000 workers a year in 1970 to just over 4,000 in 2009, even though the American workforce has over doubled. OSHA is a division of the United States Department of Labor and has published hundreds of workplace health and safety standards. They enforce their standards via inspections, which are usually done for one of the following reasons. Imminent danger to employees, a catastrophic injury occurring, a complaint submission from workers, agency recommendations, high rates of injuries, or follow-ups to previous inspections. The investigations are normally conducted without advance notice and afterwards a report outlining any violations and proposed penalties is issued. Serious or repeat citations can lead to hefty fines. Because activists fought for and won the legal requirement that workers be kept safe. If you feel like your employer has you working in unsafe conditions, you can file a complaint from the OSHA website at www.osha.gov. You're protected by whistleblower laws that make it illegal for your employer to retaliate against you for speaking out. Thanks for joining us on Union Facts Friday. If there's a topic you'd like to see discussed, leave us a comment below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time, and until then, keep demanding that American workers get put first.